Coming up next, the wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Hey guys, this is Mr. JJ Trudal. We should go to get out with the Houston Little Bean. I hope you guys will like it. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Vicious. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. fight gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster especially but on one side you have a definite striker taking on a true five tool play and you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is he knows where the fight needs to be he knows what he has to do in order to be successful let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him Lee gets caught with that punch. How good is that right hand? And he landed the right hand there. Head kick. Pretty good right hand. 
just out of range with the straight left hand. Checks the leg kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this guy. And both guys really throwing with authority. Circling to his right. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. A great punch landed with so much power. Lee's uppercut is blocked. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Counters with a straight hand here, and it lands. Nice job by Lou. Ooh, what a punch. Nice head kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lips. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Huge shot there. kick to the body. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Throws the right hand there. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He's stuck looking at the finish now, because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. his hip into that kick. Shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up right. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. A oh, little single collar tie there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Misses with the right hand. Right hand upstairs. Just misses with that one. Round two next. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Second round underway. Nice straight punch. This fight's gonna be over this What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with it. He was going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here. 
Triple DC, this could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big knee there to the chest. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, nice. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, as my favorite Raptors Onyx would say, stick and move. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Head kick there, blocked by Lee. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. There, DC, he is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Lance with the right hand. Good shot finds the target there. Great shot, Lance. Now he's got to go find that power up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Big head kick land. Massive head kick. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Oh, straight right. Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by Lee. Nice head kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, you like that left hand? He's got him right here. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Big knee to the body. On, that right hand hurt him a little bit. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. Whoa! He's out! Oh, my goodness! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush. The rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Are we set it inside the octagon? Bruce Buffer has the official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is called to stop for this contest at four minutes, 34 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. DC, you know what it's like to get that first UFC belt and become a champion. That is his reality here tonight. And New world order here at 170 pounds. You've watched this guy over the course of his career carry this chip on his shoulder. Now you can watch him take a breath because now you've accomplished the ultimate goal of becoming the UFC champion. Congratulations. How good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. So here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight Championship of the world. It's the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia, presenting the challenger, Vicious. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Protect yourself at all times. You know, a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, about your corners, come out fighting. You ready? Are you ready? All right, crowd 
getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Big call to punch land. Now he gets back to range. Lee circling to his right. Hands up. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. Oh, nice right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? They're certainly getting after it early. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Liver kick. Nice straight punch. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Lands a good combination. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice leg kick land. And both guys really throwing with authority. The one-two punch is true. Oh, spinning back to him. Telegraph that one at all. He is all about that left kick to the body. Right punch is there. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Counter attempt here, but a miss. Nice punch land over the top. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Seconds now to go in the round. Oh, 
tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Oh, nice jab. All right, there's the end of the round, and you've got to be in a serious flow to not just execute that Superman punch, but to even attempt it. To even try it, you've got to be really in your rhythm. Everything has to be going perfectly, as we saw in the lead-up to that attack. All right, let's get to round two. He's starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Move, move that kick's locked by Lee. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook, Behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Caught that kick there. Good punch. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Man, he keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Certainly buckled him earlier in the fight. He knows he's hurt there. Oftentimes it takes just one to get his opponent down to the canvas. Got clipped with the right hand. Shot is blocked. Let those hands go. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, collar tie. Back and forth we go. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. A oh, little single collar tie there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Clean left punch followed by the right. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Right under the elbow, the body keeps landing. Nice punch land. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a 
huge block! Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Final seconds. Plus right hand is true. The right hand just right. misses. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Just misses with the jab. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Later. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Big leg kick land. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh! Kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Beautiful punch. Landed the overhand. They continue to exchange. One thing to have length, that's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. A nice kick there by Lee. Just misses with the right. Oh, and he connects there. Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up with him. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big head kick land. He's hurt. He's hurt. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, he's keeping busy here in the clinch. Knee to the body. Lands a big elbow there. starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Whiffs on that offering. Oh! Use hurts. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. 
looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Ooh, big shot land. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great, great timing with his left hand. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round. DC will show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. He's low! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Lee's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. All oh, the ground and pound is there. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Nice. Holy smokes, he put him to sleep. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman. Just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Right there 
is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rugliano calls a stop to this contest at three minutes, 13 seconds of round number four. Join the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more often than not, he has had an answer for all styles. Bruce Lee with authority is your winner here tonight.